Wilhelm, what's the uh, what's the road back been like for you? Back to getting your body right. Uh, it's been it's been tough. It's been long for sure. I mean, for three months you can't even. You know, all I did was just squeeze my squeeze my leg back and forth. I couldn't move it or anything. So it was definitely tough at times. Definitely a long road, but you know, we have a really great support group here. All the guys around the program, all of my teammates were very helpful in, in terms of just helping me grind through it. So, yeah. Was the, was the timetable about uh, what you thought it would be, or was there time? Or was there frustrating parts of it along the way? Or yeah, I mean, they say it's six to eight months. And you hear that, you're like, okay, and you don't really understand that until you've been doing it for three months and then realize you're like, still can't run, still can't jump, that sort of thing. So it's it's definitely tough, definitely discouraging, just because being in the middle of it, there's just a lot of dog days, a lot of times where you just want to play again, but obviously you can't, so. Yeah, in that vein, how do you keep yourself from not getting too down on yourself while you're going through that and you can't do Anything that you really want to do. Yeah, I mean, it's it's just it's hard for sure. I mean, like I said, there's a great support group around here to where you can talk to people. People will be there to pick you up, kind of help you through it. But at the same time, it's like there are going to be days like that where you just don't want to go. You just don't want to go do it. You just kind of want to sit there, take a day off, whatever. But you can't. So it's just all a all a mental thing for sure. Just kind of willing yourself to grind through it every day. What was the worst injury you had suffered before this? Uh, I mean, well, right, right before I got here last summer, I had torn my meniscus, so I was out for a, c a couple months. And then, when they did the MRI for the meniscus, they saw that I had torn my ACL before, and it was kind of torn already. So oh, okay. that happened in I think middle school. So yeah, okay. yeah. How would you? So was there rehab involved with that too? Uh, well, the ACL, I didn't even know it happened right. until we got the MRI. Yeah, there was a rehab. I mean, it was kind of the us. It was essentially the same thing as this, except it was like an escalate. It was less time, I guess. More, I kind of started on the back end, whereas this this one was obviously a full, full is that rehab. The same knee. Yeah, same knee. Okay. Um, well, how would you compare those two rehabs? Uh, I mean, obviously the ACL is <laughs> significantly worse, um, just because there was so much more involved, and they repaired the meniscus at the same time as the ACL, so it was kind of. Essentially, the mini there was the meniscus rehab that I had already done. I had to do that again plus the ACL, so, yeah. How do you see the blend of uh, newer guys uh, with the guys you were here last year working so far? Uh, I think they're great. I mean, I think we have great team chemistry already. I mean, dudes really like each other. Everyone's kind of joking around. Everybody's gotten to know each other pretty well. So every, it's it's been great so far. Coach Troy Burke said you went and dunked during your first day uh, back out there on the court. How did that feel? Uh, it felt great. It felt, it felt great to kind of be able to dunk again and, um, obviously, before I was kind of couldn't couldn't jump real well, so just to kind of for that to be the first thing was pretty cool. How are you doing shaking the cobwebs off? How close are you to where you want to be? Uh, I mean, I, I think I'm getting there. Obviously, there's only so much you can do in rehab. There's some movements and some times where you'll land that you just can't prepare for. So I'm, it's kind of that kind of thing. Um, just kind of getting my legs under me. Just just all the all the movements kind of. So I'm I'm pretty close. I mean, I'm just keep grinding through it. So. Yeah, I mean, I think I'm. I think that's been pretty easy, actually, just because I'd kind of gone through it already. Kind of had to understand my mindset, my mentality. So I think it's been all right. You only got to play in ten uh, games before the injury, obviously. Kind of, what were you able to learn during that brief stretch of playing at the D1 level? Uh, I mean, just kind of the, the the pace. Obviously, it's a different pace, different skill level. Um, I mean, when I was playing, I got in foul trouble a lot just because there were things that I could do in high school that I couldn't do in college, that I couldn't get away with in college because guys are better better with the ball, better at making reads. So just just that and then realizing that um, I have to keep elevating my body, getting more athletic, getting stronger. So. What did you learn from watching when you're out? Uh, just how to be, how, how to be a, a good teammate, I, I, I think, mostly. Um, obviously, it's a lot different watching games when you're on the sideline, um, but just Figuring out how to be supportive through all, all the ups and downs, and kind of helping people through it. So, how did you? I mean, some rough stretches while you were out. How, what did you do to try and keep morale high? Uh, I mean, just just try to bring energy. Like there, there's already so much. Obviously, it's 
pretty it, it, it sucks when you're when you're losing a lot of games so just kind of keep energy high try to be a positive influence so, regardless a towel yeah I mean just energy you know just helping guys out getting waters bringing chairs out what whatever anybody needs just giving people a pat on the backs just literally anything you can do to, to keep the energy Yeah, I mean, I, I think obviously we've we've put in some new defensive principles, but I think the main thing for defense is the you want you have to want to play defense, and I think everybody here truly enjoys playing defense, and people like the energy that defense brings, and I, I think that's the first step, and we've been doing a great job of it. So, what's the hardest part physically of this rehab? Physically, um, I mean, I'd say this this back half when you know you can't. At the start, it's just all you're laying down, can't really do a whole lot. Whereas this, you kind of uh, squatting six inches is incredibly difficult. You can't do it, and you're thinking, well, this is unbelievable. Like, I'm s s squatting in, in the weight room, whatever, with just body weight squats, and I'm used to getting a bar with a bunch of weight on it. So I, I, I'd say just, just that in terms of the, the physical aspect is just, yeah, you kind of have to really start from ground zero. So. What about mentally? Um, I mean, I, I think kind of just using, uh, finding motivation, I guess, because there are some days where it's the same thing over and over and over again. You go in and you're like, I just don't want to do this. So I think it's just finding the will and the motivation to grind through it, kind of break down those walls. Yeah, so. Back to the last question, how is the weight room going for you now? Uh, it's been good. I mean, I, I think I, I've been getting a lot stronger, and Kurt, Kurt's great. So he, he knows what he's doing. He knows how, how to get you better. So I've just been following his plan doing what he tells me to, and it's, it's been going well so far. Coach Hoiberg mentioned that you were able to put some weight on while you were out, some good, like some good weight room. Um, what is, like, how do you balance that and breathe? Yeah, I mean, it was, uh, it was, it was fine, honestly, like, just because when I was when I was lifting, obviously, I, I literally couldn't run or do any cardio for six months, so you're bound to put on some weight. So, um, I mean, it, 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 those two didn't really affect each other, so, yeah. Did you win back? Yeah, just about, just about. Was the first day of practice a little puffy for you? A little bit, yeah. I mean, running on a running on a treadmill and running on a court is, is two different things for sure. So, yeah. What do you think of CJ's offseason that he's had? Uh, CJ's offseason has been been pretty good. I mean, he's uh he's he he's great. He's a great scorer and he's a great guy to play with. Just because you know, you know, he's always looking for a shot. So uh, as long as you can create, get him a good uh, get him a good look, he'll he'll make it. So he's been great to play with. What's it meant for you as a young big guy having Derek back in the program for another year? It's been great. I mean, he's certainly has has a lot to uh, a lot to offer in terms of wisdom and experience. So just kind of soaking up all the information I can. We make plays. I love Blaze. He's awesome. He's super physical. I haven't had the privilege of uh, boxing him out yet, but it seems like a pretty tough job. So I love him. I mean, he's he's phenomenal uh, in the in that pocket area. He's unbelievable to play with. So I love him. It's a privilege to box him out. Uh, I mean, that, that was sarcasm. Yeah, no, I don't. I'm, I'm okay. What have, uh, you know, Sam, Jawan, uh, Manuel brought, you know, just as guys who played a lot of yeah. basketball? Uh, I mean, they've brought same kind of same thing, just experience, um, leadership, I, I'd say, just because they've, they've been, they've played in a lot more games than I have, been in a lot more, you know, difficult situations, been through a lot more off-seasons than I have. So just kind of that kind of leadership veteran mentality.